Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. Uh, in this QuickBooks online video, what I wanted to show you was uh, how to apply payments to unpaid bills. Okay, so here's the situation that um, we find quite a bit uh, that people get into is they come in, they take over the books, or they're a business owner, and for whatever reason, uh, it just happened this way. But uh, the bills will be entered you know, just like normal, the way you're supposed to do it. Okay, so you go in and you enter a bill and you put in the vendor and the amount and the account, etc. Okay, and then you go to pay the bills, but instead of going to the pay bills function, the way you're supposed to do it and checking off and, you know, printing a check or whatever, however you pay it, uh, somebody will go directly to the expenses tab and they will either enter an expense or enter a check. All right. And then, so what happens is they'll put it to the regular account, you know, whatever the expense account is. So what happens is it leaves the unpaid bill in the unpaid bill section, but the bill's already been paid. Okay. And what this effect, what effect this has is that it double counts the expense. So the expense is counted once when the bill's put in, and then it's counted again when they enter this as an expense or they enter it uh, as a check. Okay, so that's a problem. You're double counting the expense. Okay, so this video is going to show you how to fix that. All right, so, and, and again, uh, this fix uh, really is for current year. So if you have this problem in the current year, if, if this issue goes back beyond the current year and it goes to previous years, um, it's going to change your financial statements. Okay, and if you've already filed tax returns, you really need to make the decision of, do we want to make this adjustment all in the current year, uh, depending on the amount, or do we want to go back and change previous years and go back and amend tax returns? Okay, so that's a decision you have to make. All right, but this is a general fix uh, that will help clear out those unpaid bills. All right, so first of all, let's go uh, and take a look at the bills out here. And let's say that this Diego's Road Warrior Body Shop for 755. Okay, so this bill's already been entered. All right. So if we go over here and we say, you know what, let's enter a uh, expense. Okay. So we're going to say Diego's Road Warrior Body Shop. Now, it's kind of difficult to do this, but it still happens uh, because this bill shows up right here and you can just simply click add and uh, that'll pay the bill but for whatever reason okay we're going to say it's a check and whoever is entering this is going in and saying uh, let's say job materials okay we'll just say job materials and we'll say 755 all right and that's it okay so what they do is they go in and they save and close this so now the problem is we have an expense in here that's going to job materials and we still have a bill for Diego's Road Warrior Body Shop. All right, so we've double counted that. All right, so here's a quick way to go in and fix that. What you wanna do is go to this, uh, you know, find then that transaction in the register. Okay, it's under expense or it's under the check register. Okay, click on it to open it up. All right, so first of all, what we wanna do is we just want to simply change this to accounts payable. All right, so now, this is taking it out of that expense. So now we're not double counting the expense. Okay. So once you do this, you want to save and close. Okay. And now you'll notice in here that now it's going to accounts payable. Next, you want to go to pay bills. Okay. And then you want to check off Diego's Road Warrior Body Shop and you'll see what happens if you have the uh, uh, setting set up where it applies credits automatically, uh, this credit will be applied, okay? So the total payment is gonna be zero, uh, and you'll see here zero, and the credit applied 755 against this account's payable, this bill, all right? So if we click save, okay? So now that bill is paid. Let's close out of here, and uh, just to show you, if we go back to pay bills, Diego's uh, Road Warrior Body Shop is not in there anymore for $7.55. This is against accounts payable, and now that expense is just counted once, and it clears out that unpaid bill. All right? 
simple way to clear this out. All right, hopefully this helped you out. Um, love to have you join us at the QuickBooks University. You can head on over to qbuniversity.org where we have the full training course all in one place. It's going to teach you everything about QuickBooks and personal one-on-one -on -one support to answer your questions. And this was actually a question from a member. Uh, so thank you for that. Head on over, qbuniversity.org.